how should I approach talking to members of my church about much of the subject matter that is discussed in your work? I'm frequently told by my older brothers and sisters in Christ, whenever I hint at some of these topics, that I shouldn't bring up subjects that could cause the faith of others to be lost or weakened. Who should I go to to talk about these things with at all? So I, I, I'm a little, I'm, again, I'm, I'm being... I'm being a little sarcastic here, but I'm also being, you know, there's there's an element of sincerity here too. I don't know how it would harm the faith of other people to know their Bible better. Now, if if you're talking about things like talking about, um, you know, the Book of Enoch or something like that, then I can see that a little bit more, you know, because that's a that's an external source to Scripture. But for the life of me, I really don't understand how you know, walking up to someone and saying, hey, you know, let, let, let's devote ourselves for a month to studying Genesis 6, 1 through 4 and, and you know, seeing if, if, if the sons of God, the Nephilim, you know, were like just normal people or, or, or something beyond that. You know, like, how does that harm someone's faith? Faith in what? I mean, if you're linking the gospel to stuff like this, you've got bigger problems than Mike's book. You know, I mean, it, it, then you don't understand the gospel, period. You know, if, if he means, you know, harming the faith of someone to being something like making people have questions about Bible passages, well, that's sort of a byproduct of having a pulse. I mean, to be honest with you, if, you, if you're a thinking adult and if you're devoting yourself to reading Scripture, I don't know how you could read Scripture and not have questions pop into your head. Because the alternative to that, if, if questions never pop into your head, then it's like saying, well, everything in the Bible that I'm reading here is self-evident. There are no questions. I understand everything completely and perfectly. And I, I, I just don't know, how, I don't know how anyone uh, who would be a sincere reader of Scripture could ever think that. So I, I, don't, I don't really quite know how to, to approach the question other than kind of throwing out those random thoughts. But look, if... if you know, I, I guess on a bad day, if if I were at this person's church or small group and got this question, um, I would say, look, if you really believe this thing that's sitting on your lap is the Word of God, why wouldn't you want to know all that you possibly could about it? And if you have questions, and you're bound to have questions because the Bible, it just transcends a surface self-evident reading. I've never met anybody who reads the Bible that didn't have a question about it. So how does wanting to get an answer to a question, how is that a questionable enterprise? If you really believe this is the word of God, I, I don't understand any the approach of anyone who would believe that and then, and then would turn around and say, well, good grief, I don't, I don't want to know too much about it. You know, if, if I have questions, I don't really want to probe it too much. I don't really want answers to these questions because that make me that might make might generate other questions. And I don't want to I don't really want to know too much about the word of God, do I? I just don't get it. I don't get the whole the whole approach, the whole premise, the whole mindset. And again, I, I know I under I, I feel for the the questioner, you know, the this struggle, because I, you know, I still get this. I mean, I I'm not you know, sort of like living off in my well, maybe maybe I am. I'm living off in my cult commune here, and I never come into contact with real people here that uh, that have the, these sorts of questions. Of course, that's just absurd. I mean, I I still do get these kinds of questions, and I and I can read on people's faces, you know, that I interact with that they're you know they're a little disturbed. But when and when you ask them the question, you know, they're they're going to well, of course, I want to know about the Bible. And then the, my follow up question is, well, then what's the problem you know th this is this is part of of growing as a christian this is part of of hungering for truth god bothered to give you truth and why you would want to sort of turn the spigot off at some point i don't understand and and you know it really comes down i think to sort of comfort level kinds of things with people they like the feeling that that they have everything kind of nailed down. You know, they, they, they like the feeling that their pastor has sort of got everything under his belt. And if it's important, the pastor will tell me about it. But I, again, I don't, I don't see how that really honors the, the idea that God has given 
given us this thing we call the Word of God. We are commanded to study it, you know, to show ourselves approved, you know, all the all the, the verses that we know. And yet somehow our process of doing that is having it dispensed to us through an authority figure. I, I just literally, I have difficulty comprehending uh, even the whole approach, the whole uh, hesitation, but I know it's real. All right.